What's very, very important with printing is to realize that there is likely to be a big difference between what you see on your laptop or your PC screen and what will actually appear on the printer. You want to try to match what you can see on your computer or laptop and what you're likely to see on the printer. If you can match those two to look roughly the same, then when you're editing, you can edit for print. So I'd just like to show you, you could perhaps notice behind me, I've actually got three monitors set up. Even from a distance, you can see that there's a big difference in the colors that we're getting. The first step is to calibrate your monitor. In the search bar, calibrate display color with the American spelling and we get this screen. So now we're going to go through the calibration. Click next, gamma, setting gamma. And this is the relationship between red, green and blue color values. So you can see on the screen we have three displays. On the left, we need to increase gamma. And in the middle, that's what we're aiming for. So press next. So it says move the slider to minimize the visibility of the small dots in the middle of each circle to minimize the small dots. So here you can see that the, that the small dots are very, very obvious. So I'm minimizing increasing this until we no longer see the small dots in the middle of the circle. So it's going to be somewhere there. And we need it somewhere in the middle. And I've often found that this is very, very important as regards printing as we normally find that the laptop is usually set far too bright. So I would say it should be around there. The contrast adjustment determines the level and clarity of highlights. Okay, so not enough contrast, good contrast, and too much contrast. So again, we're aiming for the one in the middle. The color balance adjustment. Okay, so we've got a panel here showing grays. And that's the first thing we're going to do. And we're going to move the red, green, and blue sliders on the next page to remove any color cast from those gray bars. It does look quite good actually, and perhaps a touch too much green. I think that's a little bit better. That's too So now let's check after the calibration. My original file. And here it is. This one here. Let's preview that on my monitor. Start test, test pattern. So 
so as we come down the bars become noticeable and we go to 256 gradients okay so that's fine and you can see the logo here is very noticeable so you want to change this so the logo blends into the background more So you can see there 1.1, 1.2 looks good, 1.3 is worse, so I think it's 1.2. So step two is ICC profiles. Now ICC profiles, uh, the whole point of them, ICC profiles are settings for your colors and how they will appear on different kinds of paper and different kinds of printers. Because looking, as we've already said, as we've already said, looking at the monitor is not enough. You've got to understand how your image is going to look when printed on different mediums and using different printers. Now, the home setup would be to set it up to check on a printer that you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that system. I have a Canon G3010 simple uh, printer for home use. I'm on Windows. And in this address, I can find a list of the ICC profiles, which are already loaded into my computer and in my printer driver. So let me open Photoshop, open <coughs> any image. Now I'm opening this one. File. Print, where is it? Print. And print settings, color management. Photoshop manages colors, view, proof setup, and custom. Custom. I'm going to choose my ICC, ICC, so I'm going to go to this one, Canon IJ Inkjet Color Printer Profile 2015, bet there, so relative, we go rendering intent here, perceptual, okay, so save. Proofing, proofing one, okay. 